在家四年。walk into that cell barn. I didn't even know who he was. And my face, my mom and I made eye contact and I was like, he is so handsome. Like, I don't know who this guy is. And now I'm marrying him today. <laughs> We thank you for Morgan. We thank you for Austin. Help us today and just as we go through this day to just have a great day and just help Morgan and Austin to love each other unconditionally and always put you first through anything that they do in life. Just help them to go through their life worshiping you, raising their kids to worship you, Lord. And we just thank you for everything you do. Help us to always go out and to shine your light. Just thank you for all of our friendships and just to keep growing in you, Lord, and just be with Morgan and Austin today as we walk down the aisle and they say, I do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. Hey, bro, so we just let you borrow it. Fun rock, Barry, and borrow a pair of my eyes. <laughs> Like, just wait here and get this little, what's up? Well, I was a cousin all along. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, I don't care whose money it is. You can count me out. I work hard on that. What? I'm John O'Leary. He's Dapper Dan, man. Oh, fuck. Oh. Those paparazzi over here. They're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to help you? Right. My wife talked me into doing these hard parts. <laughs> It's all kind of growing back in. But I went to this different hair place, man. It gave me a neck massage, a scalp massage. Got my hair washed. It's nice. I'm starting to really think of a friendship. He <laughs> said, you got to go here. So, what's up? We'll do it. Pay $40 for it. $17. Well, that's how I went. I went to the clinic and it doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. All right. See you. All right. Fine job. All right. Yep.
You look beautiful. Thank you. You look like your mama. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> He'll like it. He will? Yeah. Is my tongue going around? Yeah. <laughs> you want your sunglasses back? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Don't you show nobody I've been crying. <laughs> Dear Morgan, oh how I love you. I love you more than I could ever imagine. For the longest time I thought love was just a decision a person made, like the next move in life. Just finding someone to settle with and call it good. But thankfully, you have showed me it's nothing like that. There's so much more. Morgan, you have taught me that love is powerful, overwhelming joy and desire. So powerful that true love is unbreakable bond that only a few find, yet we have. Your overall joy only you can only you can bring into my life. And the desire to constantly want to be more, to better myself, to grow, and to constantly invest into our relationship. You are a direct blessing from Jesus. I know this because Jesus makes no mistakes and you are nothing less than perfect. You are so smart, loving, hardworking, and beautiful second to none. Today is the day I have been waiting for my whole life. I'm so thankful for you. I'm so thankful for your family. Most of all, I'm thankful for who you are. I love you so much. I can't wait for you to be Mrs. Rhodes. Austin, I cannot believe that it is our wedding day. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on you. You were so handsome. You are so handsome. I am still in such awe that God chose me to be your wife. I will never forget our first two dates, a motorcycle ride and buying a semi. I knew from the beginning there was something so special about you. God gave me peace in my heart. I knew that you were going to be my husband. Today is the day that I get to make you my husband. God has been so good and faithful to us. When I think about our love story, it amazes me how evident God has been throughout it all. You are more than I could ever imagine. I see so many qualities in you that I see in some of the most amazing men in my life. You are hardworking, giving, kind, strong, and did I mention handsome? I know that you will lead our family in the Lord. You are going to be the best dad in the world. I cannot wait to have a family and grow old with you. My parents always told me that when I found the one, I would have zero doubts. I have never once doubted you. Saying yes to being your wife is the easiest decision I have ever made. I have never felt so beautiful or loved in my life. Your love for me is what God intended. You have no idea how blessed I feel that I get to walk down the aisle and become your wife today. I am so ready to start this life with you. God is so good and I am so thankful for this day. June 6, 2020, the best day of my life. I can't wait to see you, I love you. P.S. This journal is a gift to you. Years back, I began writing to my future husband. I didn't know who it was being addressed to, but God knew. When you look back and read it, you will see how it all points to you. You are more than I prayed for. I love you so much. I am so ready to see your handsome smile at the end of the aisle. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you ready? I am. Me too. I'm so ready. I love you. I love you. I feel very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. You haven't even seen me yet. Oh, I can. You feel very handsome. Well, that's good thing. <laughs>
wherever you lead, we will go, Lord. Be at the center of our relationship, Lord. Thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for all you've done. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I love you. I love you. I'm so excited to see you. Hello. Okay. See you in a little bit. All right. Love you. Love you. <laughs> yeah, let go. Okay. Don't look. <laughs> Love you. Love you.
to this man. Her mother and I. All that would like to come and pray with Morgan and Austin, you are invited to come at this time. Anyone that would like. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the blessings you give us in life. Lord, I remember when Morgan was born, what a blessing to our family. Lord, as the years have gone by, she has blessed our hearts and our lives. I thank you for her. I thank you also today for Austin. What a blessing he also was to his family. Lord, I'm thankful that together today they are a blessing to all of our lives that are here and those that are not here. Lord, I, I don't know a lot in life, but I do know this. I pray, Lord, that they'll live for you all their life. And they'll put you number one in their home, and Lord, in the family that you give them, I pray you'll be number one in that family. Lord, I ask you today that you go with us throughout the remainder of this service. Be with David, be with Morgan, be with Austin, be with all the family and friends here today. Help us to realize most and far above anything else that, Lord, you are the presence in all of our lives. Yes. And I ask you to be present here today. Lord, if there's anything I want today, I'd rather you was here than anyone. And I pray your blessing upon this service. I love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Morgan and Austin, I don't know exactly who picked this... Uh, type of ceremony here but I noticed there's something missing in here and this part where if there was someone here today that was not wishing this marriage to go forward they should say something or never hold their peace so I thought about this Austin so I figured that you was the one that picked this because it wasn't in there so I need to get something off my chest today or ever hold my peace okay here goes. The first time I heard about you, Austin, I did not know you. I heard that you had a motorcycle. <laughs> and you was going to take my granddaughter on a ride on it. I thought to myself, he's going to go faster than he normally goes, or she'll have to hold on real tight. <laughs> I didn't like that, Austin. No, I did not like that. Austin, in taking the woman whom you hold by the right hand to be your wife. I require you to promise to love, cherish her, to honor and sustain her in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the good that may lighten your ways, and to be true to her in all things until death uh, long departs you. I do. Morgan, in taking the man whom you hold by the right hand to be your husband, 
I require you to promise to love and to cherish him, to honor and sustain him in sickness, as in health and probably as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days and in the good that may lighten your ways, and to be true to him in all things until death alone departs you. Do you so promise? I do. Morgan. I promise to be your faithful husband for the rest of my life. I promise to go to God before all of us sit. I understand the responsibility, the commitment you and I are making. To lead our family to God, to never stray away. To always pursue Him, and to always pursue you. I promise to put you before everything <laughs> and above everything <laughs> you, are, you are my partner for the rest of our life I could not be happier I love you with all my heart and I'm so thankful for you take mine a little longer yeah. <laughs> bear with me <laughs> Austin I have been praying for the right words to say today for I feel there are no words to truly describe how much I love you. You are my gift from God. When I was two years old, I got on stage at church and sang the song, He Has a Plan for Me. I have always known that God had the perfect plan for my life, including the man that I would one day marry. So I began seeking him. It wasn't always easy. I remember feeling discouraged and my mom telling me that she believed my love story would be like a Hallmark movie. I didn't believe it. Now I am standing in front of you today with a love story that is better than a Hallmark movie. <laughs> a love story that could only be written by God. During my time seeking the Lord, I prayed to you. I wrote to you. I dreamed about you. I asked God questions about you. I wasn't alone in this process. My whole family prayed for you. I remember when I first laid eyes on you, my eyes were so drawn to you, and I had no idea who you were. The second time I ran into you, still not knowing who you were, I told my mom, I need to find me a man like that. <laughs> I bet God was looking down in that moment laughing because little did I know that you, Austin Rose, would be my forever, my man. God made the connections and used people to help allow us to meet. It was his perfect plan. Here I stand before you today, saying I do to forever with you. My commitment today is that I will always love all of you. I promise to always put God first and love him more than you. I love you best when I am satisfied with him. I promise to always be honest and respect you. I promise to always stand by you, trust you, support you, and encourage you. I promise to laugh with you, flirt with you, and always be your young girlfriend that you first fell in love with. I promise to do my best to listen to you, even though I get easily distracted sometimes. Yeah. I promise to, uh, to let you have time to clean your garage and wash your truck, even though you probably should be cleaning the house. I promise to always let you go work on your skid steer that I know you're probably going to buy after this wedding. You are such a hard worker, and I love that about you. I promise to be the best mother that I can be to our future children. I promise to walk hand in hand with you wherever we feel the Lord is leading us. I promise to always kiss you goodnight. I promise to always pray for you. And I promise to grow old with you, Austin. James 1.17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. I thank God for you today. My perfect gift. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, Austin, is the easiest day in my life to rejoice. Your love for me is what God intended, and I'm so thankful that I trusted in His plan for my life. I am so blessed to start our beautiful life together as your wife today. I love you.
I pronounce you husband and wife in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses. What God has joined together, let no man separate. And now may the God of peace prosper and bless you in this new relationship. And may the grace of Jesus Christ be yours in abundant now and forevermore. There's something missing there. I think I'm going to say, Austin, you may now kiss your bride.
to the core I was the youngest child So I got by with more Hi, I'm Ellie Douglas, Morgan Chunger's sister Let me just start off by saying wow I feel so honored to be standing beside my sister on her special day Rising sun hits the sky, see it open before us. Take these hopes, hold them high, every step takes you closer. Who loves Jesus with all their hearts? Ladies and gentlemen, the Shoe Game! 